crazy bag lady. What can I say? I just can't say anything. <laughs> I'm so excited to receive this item. Um, it's a really, really, really old vintage Louis Vuitton. Um, I'm so excited to get this bag because I have got the Louis Vuitton book, um, like a big catalogue like book with all handbags and stuff in. It's a gorgeous book. Um, and I've admired this bag for a long time in this book. And I have seen some pop up there before, but they're normally quite battered because they're quite old. Um, but this one, although it's a bit worn, it didn't look in too bad condition. So I bought it. Um, I've bought it from a company I've never used before. I found them on eBay. Um, but they have got a shop and stuff as well, so I thought I'd be alright buying it because eBay is a bit of a minefield. You always worry about eBay. Um, but this is a proper company I bought it from, so if I don't like it, I have got two weeks to send it back. So, ooh, if we can get in the box, I'll show you it. Right. Let's have a look. I can't do it. <laughs> I can't get in the box, I'm so excited. Oh God, some boxes are, are easier than others. Some just ping open and others are just a nightmare. Right, well it must be a good company because they've even got their own name on the box. <laughs> so this is the company, it's called Ex Exoops. I can't pronounce it, but this is the, the company. So this is the box. out of 10 for presentation looks good so far right it's got their lovely little sticker on it so if i snip through their sticker like so it should open it up it's a nice tissue paper and then a bit of bubble wrap and here's the bag Ooh, the box was really nice that it came in right are we ready so Let's uh, undo the little drawstring top. <gasps> I love vintage Louis Vuitton. I just love the history behind it all. <gasps> there we go. Do, do, do. <laughs> right, let's see if we can get it out of the, the dust bag. And there we go. <gasps> what do we think? Oh, it's so lovely. You see, the trouble is, because this is like... Uh, furry stuff they wear um, so they do get little ball patches so the ones I've seen before this has been like really worn out sort of and once they get really bad they kind of go past the point of like no hope then they just look awful whereas this is still in quite good condition it's got it's got slight little bold bits but not too bad but it, the leopard print is just so amazing so I've seen pictures of Beyonce and stuff carrying one of these a few years ago. It is actually from 1996, so it's not even like 2006, it's 1996 and we're in 2018, so that's, what are we, 96, 2006, 2016, 17, it's, that's 22 years ago. How can a bag that's 22 years old still look as amazing as this? So obviously it's an Alma, which is that actual style of it, but it hasn't got any handles, um, so you just hold it by this lovely, like, furry stuff on the top, which is a bit like a bow, and then it's got a Louis Vuitton little gold stud in there, um, and then you, it's still got the double um, fastenings, so it hasn't got a padlock with it, I don't think, so that's missing. I know you can get like a full set. I think you can get like a little cosmetics purse and stuff to go with it. But obviously they're so rare now, because obviously 22 years ago is quite a long time ago. So that's the inside of it. It's one big compartment, and then it's got a slip pocket on that side. And then it's got a little zip side pocket on that side. And then it says in it... Um, uh, where are we? Uh, 1896 to 1996. Alaha, I think it says on it. I don't know if my camera will pick that up, but that's what it says on it. Oh, and it's just so cute. I knew I would love it. It's just lovely. Um, let's zip it back up. The zips feel alright. So 
obviously you have to manhandle it a bit, don't you, to get hold of it. So, oh, I see, and then that, so that is just sort of stitched on it there, but you can actually slip your hands in this bit, like so. So I suppose you could put your phone in there if you wanted. And again, this side is the same, so it's like a slip bit. So it's still an actual Alma as such, but like I said, it hasn't got the handles. And then the canvas goes right down to the bottom. And then this is just like a wrap over the top of it and over the bottom. Ooh, it's so fabulous. So let's see what it looks like being carried. So I'm five foot six, about a size 12 on a good day. Um, so I presume just wear it uh, hooked over your arm, like so. Oh, it's so lovely. I just love the fact that I know how old it is and that it's got a bit of history behind it. It's just so lovely. Um, you, wouldn't, you can't really get it on your shoulder because it's designed to go the way around, so you can't wear it on your shoulder. So it's literally, you just hook it in your arm. And it's not heavy, so it's a real pleasure to hold. Um, and then obviously you can hold it at the top like this, so you can swing it. <laughs> but, but the best way, like I say, is just to hook it in your arm. Oh, and then it just sits there looking beautiful. <laughs> Wow, I love this bag so much. It's just so lovely because as you know, I really do love Louis Vuitton. It's a real passion of mine. I like Gucci and stuff, but that's more a fashion sort of thing. Whereas this is sort of, I just love it. I love the fact that a bag that's 22 years old can still look really, really classy and, and chic. Oh, it's so fabulous. And again, you'll fit loads in it. Um, you won't want to put too much in it, I don't think. So obviously the heavier it is, then the more you'll sort of wear the straps out because obviously you're gonna have to be careful with it so it's not a bag that you'd be able to use every day um it has got a bit of wear on this bit here which it did they did show me i asked for pictures and they sent me them all and everything but to say how old this bag is you really won't find another one i don't think yeah it's lovely I'm so excited <laughs> So, if you're like me and you really do love Louis Vuitton, you'll totally get where I'm coming from with this bag. It's just so lovely. I don't, I've, I've looked all over YouTube. I couldn't find any reviews on it. I couldn't find anything about it. All I found was some pictures of Beyonce carrying one. Um, but again, that was quite an old photo. That probably was from like 2000 or something. Um, so, this is it. It is designed by somebody. Um, it was a big long name, I can't remember it, but um, it was so fascinating, it's lovely. In fact, I'll get my book and I'll show you it in my book. One moment, right, this is my book. Um, it's Louis Vuitton City Bags and Natural History. If you love Louis Vuitton and you love handbags, you so need to own this book. It's like a Bible, it's just, oh, it's just amazing. It has so many amazing bags in it, but um, there it is. <laughs> I don't look at, I don't look quite the same as her. She looks fabulous, doesn't she? But um, there she is with the bag, um, and then it shows it in a smaller bit as well. That's it. And that's when it was on the catwalk. Fair look. So it's absolutely fabulous. So it's featured in my favourite book. Yay! So I hope you've enjoyed this little unboxing. Um, obviously, if you love Louis Vuitton, then you're going to be so excited about this handbag like I am. It's a little vintage. It's so amazing. So, thank you so much for watching. If you do enjoy handbags, shopping and a bit of fun, please subscribe to my channel and come and find me on Instagram and Twitter as Mrs Crazy Bag Lady. So, I hope this was interesting. Obviously, this is a really rare bag. Um, I know it's not going to be everybody's cup of tea. I know some people won't like it and some people will be like, oh no, I'd rather have a modern one. And, but when you love a bit of vintage like I do, oh god, it's just amazing and I can't wait to use it. I just think it's absolutely lovely. Brilliant, I'm so excited. Um, and the company I used was, um, well the dust bag and everything's got it on, so it must be a really good company. That's their um, name. If you type their name in Google, you'll see them. They do watches and they've got lots of other gorgeous handbags as well. They do Chanel and, and all sorts of pre-owned handbags. So. Yeah, go and check out their website. You might be able to treat yourself to something. So, thank you so much for watching, my darlings. And I will speak to you soon. I'll have to try it out and see some stuff in it. <laughs>